Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 2.7 from Sadiku book. So the question is find P0 and I0 in the fear kit of the figure. Okay, so now this is an example of we need to use a KCL which is Kirchhoff current law. So the first thing you need to do, we need to do is to set our ground which is usually the bottommost of the circuit here. And the voltage here in this node will be zero. Okay, so now let's see the circuit here. We have the voltage here will be V0 and all the components are in parallel. So all this node will have the same voltage and that voltage will be V0 from the ground. So maybe I just put it here maybe. Yeah, so this node is V0. And I want to do KCL at V0. KCL at V0. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. So which one goes in and which one goes out? So we need to assume the direction of the current. So maybe if we have current source, just follow the arrow. So this will be going up. And this also, this going down. And we already given this I0 is going down. So maybe the last one we need to do is this branch here. And I need it to go down. Okay. Now take a look at this the sum of the currents that goes in the only current that goes into V0 is this 9 ampere so I just write that 9 here 9 and all the other currents is goes out so the first one is this one which is V0 minus here this not here which is 0 minus 0 divided by this resistor here which is 2 ohm and then this branch here is also going out so I need to sum it plus so this one the magnitude is I0 over 4 so I have I0 divided by 4 here and the last one here we have this current that passed through this 8 ohm resistor so I will have V0 minus the voltage here will which is zero divided by a okay so now let's simplify the mathematics nine that will be v zero over two plus i zero over four then plus v zero over eight so i want to get rid of all the denominators by multiplying both sides by 8. Okay, if we multiply it by 8 on the left hand side, we get 9 multiplied by 8, that will be 72. And this one will be 4v0 plus 2i0 and then plus v0. Okay, let's just add this V0 up so I'll have 72 that will equal to 5 V0 plus 2 I0 so I think we can substitute this I0 by looking at here because I0 is basically V0 minus 0 divided by 2 right so maybe I want to write it here 72 is equal to 5 V0 plus 2I0. What is I0? I0 is this one. So I will have V0 minus ground, which is 0, divided by 2. So let's do 72 is equal to 5V0 plus 2 multiplied by V0 over 2, which can cancel each other. So I will have 6 V0 in the right hand side and 72 on the left hand side. And dividing both sides by 6, we can get V0 will be 72 divided by 6 is 12. So this is for V0. 
and for i0 because we know i0 is this one so i will have v0 minus 0 divided by 2 that will be 12 divided by 2 or finally we get i0 is equal to 6 ampere which is basically the same as the answer given by the book. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you on the next video. Bye bye.